you get this instant positive feedback when you make something that's really good. Some people like literally step back and they like scream in the middle of the store. It's like, why we do this? It's, it's great. Vivek is a direct trade sparkling coffee made with all real ingredients. We have three flavors. We have an original sarsaparilla, which is like a root beer, and then a lavender. I started off as a barista and quickly got very bored of all the drinks that they were creating. Coffee itself inherently has a plethora of flavors within it. So there's chocolatey and nutty, but then there's also like citrusy and raspberry notes. It's like watching a kid eat an avocado or like an orange for the first time. It's, it's like that unique of a flavor. So I started creating a secret menu and it would be like a tea from over here and the coffee from over here and maybe some lemonade or whatever it was. Had people try it and everybody just fell in love with it. The name Vivic stems from the word vivification, which means to bring life to. So it's our goal to bring life to the coffee industry by addressing the inequities within commodity coffee trading. And we do that by sourcing all of our coffee direct trade. We actually go to the farm, we meet with the farmers, we buy coffee directly from the farm. We have been growing coffee for six generations in the western part of El Salvador. I have to start doing direct trade in order to give value added to our coffee and improve the quality of life of the workers at the coffee farms. So they own a coffee mill, and what that allows you to do is have ultimate control over how the coffee is processed. It kind of adds an element of craft to it. The cherry, when it's ripe, it can be deep red, or there's even some yellows. So yeah, I mean, it looks like a cherry. It's right there. Right here. <laughs> so being able to like take a ripe cherry off the tree and taste it, in my coffee career, it was like a seminal moment. From the farm, it comes straight to San Jose. Guillermo roasts the coffee for us right here, but we rapidly cool it. We blend those teas with our coffee and then carbonate it in tank. It rolls off the production line into our boxes and goes to our distributor. Before we started Vivic, I don't think either of us really had any idea of what it would be like to start a brand. We didn't know how to communicate our product to our consumer. We got some critical feedback. They're like, look, your product's amazing. Your branding needs work. So that's when we went back to the drawing board and really made sparkling coffee pop on the can. In the end, it built something that's a lot stronger. Right now, we're in about 80 stores in the Bay Area, and we're trying to scale up from there. There's two ways of doing business. There's a way of doing business with the brain and then with the heart. We really want to do business with the heart.